The Mawson's Heart Foundation have made a magnificent museum. It's really well worth a visit and it shows how hard life was when you were isolated down there in Antarctica. The replica, it is a really faithful example of, of, of Mawson's Hut uh, at Cape Denison. This is the birth of Australia's Antarctic history. The replica here in Hobart really helps tell the story of the AAE expedition. It's a great living way to, to keep that story going. If we can hold on to that legacy, it really holds the future strong for, for the Mawson Tuts Foundation, for the, the historic site itself. I think it's a great thing to have. It's as authentic as you can get in a replica, I think. It certainly does give you that feeling. It generates some revenue for us to be able to continue the, our expeditions down there. Depending on what the person is that's coming through, you can you can talk how, what food they ate, you can talk about the weather conditions, you can talk about you know, when they went out to the field and what equipment they were actually using. You can get a sense of what it might have been like to have 18 people in such a tiny room. The replica um, hut can give you that, that idea of what it would have been like. The fact they've just got a small bunk, that's their personal space. And uh, you're going to be in everyone else's personal space all the time. There's a lot of people that are not going to get the opportunity to visit the real Mawson's hut. It really does give people a fantastic idea of what's in the real hut. When it first was built, I remember sitting on one of the bunks and feeling really strongly like it reminded me so much of being in the real huts down south. It literally is just like being there. It's going to be great for the younger generation to really become inspired.